surgery short case femoral hernia your examiner will ask please examine this patient groin region one of the top secret area definitely you have to take consent before examination you have to expose at least from umbilicus to mid thigh there is a lump in an aspect of the mid thigh just below the inguinal ligament most probably it can be a femoral hernia most probably it can be a femoral hernia number one consent then there is a hernia carefully look are there any scars if you found a scar very close to lump very close to lump it will, it will indicate recurrence it will indicate recurrence then carefully look what is the shape and what is the size usual femoral hernia shape globular or hemispherical size 2 to 3 cm shape globular or hemispherical size 2 to 3 cm then ask your patient to cough <coughs> with that what happened to femoral hernia nothing happened to femoral hernia your inguinal hernia start to expand but femoral hernia nothing happened just to differentiate it from inguinal hernia ask your patient to cough there is no cough impulse there is no cough impulse next one ask your patient to reduce the lump usually inguinal hernia can reduce back into abdomen but femoral hernia can't again just to differentiate it from inguinal hernia ask your patient to reduce usually can't next one try to find exact anatomical location first of all try to identify the pubis and pubis symphysis pubic symphysis is somewhere here midpoint of the pubic symphysis here 1 cm lateral to the midpoint of the pubic symphysis there is pubic tubercle there is pubic tubercle your femoral hernia lies below and lateral to the below and lateral to the pubic tubercle below and lateral to the pubic tubercle your inguinal hernia lies above and medial to the above and medial to the pubic tubercle above and medial to the pubic tubercle your femoral hernia lies below and lateral to the pubic tubercle your inguinal hernia lies above and medial to the pubic tubercle that is how you are going to differentiate next one check other side and coexisting other hernia you should ask patient to stand up then you can clearly see are there any other inguinal hernia are there any other femoral hernia in the other side you have to tell that as well your examination finished now you have to present it there is a hemispherical shaped lump in the right inguinal region 2 cm in diameter it has no cough impulse it is not reducible it is next situated below and lateral to the pubic tubercle so my diagnosis is obstructed femoral hernia i would like to offer him urgent surgery why i say obstructed femoral hernia not obstructed femoral hernia i can't reduce it usually femoral hernia is an emergency not emergency urgent surgery you have to do surgery urgently after your presentation your examiner asks few question from you how do you differentiate it from inguinal hernia now you know how to differentiate your femoral hernia below and lateral to the pubic tubercle your inguinal hernia above and medial to the pubic tubercle next one what are the differential diagnosis there is a lump in a aspect of the thigh just below the inguinal ligament what are the differential diagnosis it can be lipoma it can be sebaceous cyst it can be dermoid cyst it can be femoral aneurysm one femoral aneurysm it can be inguinal lymph node lymph node it can be saphena varix dilated venous plexus saphena varix it can be undescended testis undescended testis in the exam when you are telling undescended testis beware patient can be a female then your differential diagnosis is totally theoretical not practical don't tell 
undescended test is in female patient usually it is usually in male patient next one what are the step of surgery number one you have to reduce the content back into the abdomen reduce the content number one reduce content then you have to remove the hernial sac hernial tummy hernial tummy last one repair the defect repair the defect you have to close the defect otherwise it will recur next one what are the content in the femoral canal from lateral to medial the content in the femoral canal are number one lateral to medial lateral one nerve then artery then femoral artery femoral nerve femoral artery then femoral vein last one femoral canal femoral canal those are the content in the sorry femoral sac here those are the content in the femoral canal from lateral to medial here now then artery then vein then femoral sac those are the content in the femoral canal next one can there be congenital femoral hernia you have to find it you sure eh? no there is no congenital femoral hernia thank you very much